Well, I'm Aaron Reistead. I was born in North Dakota and uh, at the age of six, moved to Colorado with my family. Growing up, I got into all of the stereotypical Colorado things, skiing, snowboarding, hiking, rock climbing. When I moved to Tallahassee for graduate school, uh, I had previously heard about CrossFit and didn't know a whole lot about it, so I joined CrossFit Tallahassee there and was able to begin making some community, some friends, as well as just increase my physical fitness to levels I had not been able to get to before. At the age of 23, I began experiencing some difficulties with my sight. So one appointment led to another and I was ultimately diagnosed with what's called Lieber's hereditary optic neuropathy. My eyes work fine, my brain works great, it's just that the, the pathway be between the two doesn't work so well. When I received the diagnosis, I was told that there was no known cure for LHON. This was extremely difficult to hear because I was essentially being told that there's nothing that I could do to fix the problem that I'd been presented with. Just lots of tears and lots of questions and those tears came from the unknown. And moving forward I would call my dad and I would just start start crying and we would cry over the phone because it was just so new and so scary that uh, I felt really alone and I felt out of control of my life. I think one of the biggest lessons that I've learned through this experience is is the power of community um, and the power that that you know we are all here struggling through through different things and, and asking for help is not is not something to be ashamed of, but that there are lots of people in your life that care about you and, and that asking for help it doesn't, doesn't make you weak or doesn't make you less than, but ultimately bring us all closer together. But I, you know, I, I have very high expectations for myself and my ability to continue to live the life that I want to live. I, I do need lots of assistance, which I'm not ashamed about. But really, being a part of, of CrossFit goes back to just community, and, and I, I received a ton of support and continue to receive support through the people there and their understanding and care for me uh, through, through all the hard times and still to this day.